Hey guys, today we are going to compare the following numbers using greater than or less than signs. Now we have a four star example for you. And so here is our first example. We have radical 32, is it greater than or less than 5.1? So when we have a radical that is compared to a number or a decimal or integer or a decimal number, you need to make sure you're either going to change that decimal number into a radical or you're gonna change that radical into a decimal. And in this case, it's pretty much easier from all the lessons and videos that we've done previously to this one that we can turn this radical into a decimal. Remember when we were able to find the number or the radical that is either right below, that is a perfect square, and right above. So if we look at radical 32, we know that radical 25, because you're getting really good at memorizing your perfect squares, radical 25 is five, and radical 36 is six. So then we ask ourselves, how far is 25 from 32? And that's plus seven. And this is going to be plus four. So we know that this distance between the two is 11. And then the numerator will be this number. So it's going to be five and seven over 11. Now, I seem to believe that 5.1, 7 over 11 is more than one half. It is more than one half. So this is kind of like five and a half or a little bit greater than five and a half. So it tells me that this radical 32 is greater than 5.1. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's move this one off to the side. Our next example is radical 38 and radical 42. Now this is, seems pretty easy because radical um, 38 and radical 42, they're both radicals. And so it is going to be the radical 38 is definitely less than radical 42 because it goes in numerical order. And obviously 38 is less than 42. So radical 38 has to be less than radical 42. All right. So let's see. Let's try our next example. Our next example is radical 17 and comparing 9 over 2. Well, 9 over 2, that looks like 2 goes into 9 four times with one left over. So we are going to look at nine halves is really going to be like four, four and one half or 4.5 if we did it as a decimal. So let's go ahead and look at radical 17. Radical 17, we look at the two integers that it falls in between. And we know that radical 16 is a perfect square for four and radical 25 is the perfect square for five. So we ask ourselves how far, and we see that it is only a distance of one and a distance of eight. Therefore, these two distances come out to nine, one ninth. So our approximate value of radical 17 is four and one ninth. Now, one ninth is 0.111 bar. And so it is approximately 4.1 bar. So if we look at this 4.1 bar, 4.5, it looks like radical 17 is also going to be less than 9 over 2. All right, we have one more example. And so our final example is, let's pull a drum roll, please. Radical 49 and 7.1. Well, we know radical 49 right away is a perfect square and it's perfect square of seven. So which is greater, seven or 7.1? And in this case, 
7 is definitely less than 7.1 because 7.1 is greater than 7. So we have our answer. Mm -hmm.